Yeah, that's good to hear. It's a good point about those auto loans, certainly one of the top drivers of inflation right now uh, with those car prices. So if anyone has paid attention at all so far to your tweets and what you've been doing since you've uh, taken the directorship, they've obviously seen your concerns about what you're calling junk fees, these fees that people get assessed if they're late or that are added on to various bills. Can you just help people understand, because it's not usually in your economics or accounting textbook, what, what is a junk fee? You know, people are getting sick and tired of this fee creep that is all over the economy. There is more and more line items that are being added to bills that essentially obscure the upfront price of a product. We see this in so many sectors, whether it's resort fees when in, in lodging and hospitality, whether it's these surcharges on tickets that people buy, and banking is a bastion of many of these fees. And consumers want to know what is going on with this. In many cases, these are fees where there's not even a service provided or where the bank or financial institution doesn't even do any work. This is not exactly the sign of a fair and competitive market. We have asked the public to tell us about these fees, their experiences with it. And we also want to understand how do we create marketplaces that truly compete on price and quality? We recently published some research on deposit account fees like overdraft and insufficient fund fees. And one of the things we found is that this is now a core part of many financial institutions business. This is not actually how the origins of deposit accounts worked. And so that's why we're looking hard into it. We've already seen since we published research on overdraft and insufficient funds fees that many banks are dropping them altogether or curtailing them severely. You know, this is a small step in the right direction, but we, what we really need to understand is our financial institutions competing on an upfront price and can consumers shop for it or are all these junk fees essentially being packed in later in the process i don't know heather all of us i think have dealt with this in some form or another in part of our lives in some bill we have seen these mysterious fees pop up and people are people want answers about it 